And I am really excited. I think a lot of people are excited that we've got two retailers, uh, downtown retailers, that have just uh, opened up. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Jessica, we'll, we'll go uh, in order of uh, the in which the business started. Uh, Worcester Wares mm -hmm. on Commercial Street. Why don't you tell our viewers what Worcester Wares is all about? So Worcester Wares uh, started with making a couple I Love Worcester pens. Uh, there really wasn't a lot of Worcester products uh, available. People were making one or two things, but there wasn't a centrally located place to buy um, all Worcester-themed items. So pins turned into postcards, which turned into totes, which turned into shirts, which turned into a store where um, I now have 44 different artists and organizations selling their Worcester items in my store, uh, as well as my Worcester items, and uh, it's everything Worcester. And you opened in the fall. August, yes, August, August 15th. August yep. 15th. So and, it's been uh, seven months. Seven months, and yep. we understand there was qu quite a run around Christmas time and the holiday season. Yes, uh, I thought I had worked hard in the past, and that was a lie. Yes, <laughs> um, Christmas was <laughs> wonderful, and um, I was very busy, and I was thankful for all of it. And yeah. on Commercial Street? Yes, Commercial Street on the back side of the DCU Center. Um, it's great. And some, some retail window storefront, yeah, you know, walking by and visiting the store, you've got a lot of stuff on display that people can see from, from street level. I do, yeah. There's shirts and different household items, um, different products from all different artists. Uh, and if there's something we don't have, I want to know what it is so that we can find an artist to make it or order it. Um, yeah, but you can come and sneak a peek in the windows. Every day I have to go out there and clean off handprints and nose prints from people <laughs> looking in, which uh, is a good problem to have. Good. Well, we're going to come back and yep. talk a little bit about how, Great. you know, some of the artists and how people can uh, access and, and give suggestions. But uh, on the other end of Commercial Street, we've got the Commercial Street Corridor here. Uh, right can up the street. Candy <laughs> Murphy, yep. Figs and Pigs, uh, a new restaurant that's opened up in the downtown. How many months ago? Um, December 10th. So oh, December 10th. Yeah, so we're like in week 13. So maybe you could describe for our viewers what Figs and Pigs, uh, what kind of restaurant it's all about. Sure, it's a um, it's a fast casual, so it's a quick service restaurant. Um, we it's called Kitchen and Pantry because the idea is you can either eat in or you can take it out. Um, we did recently because of the situation. So we do everything from scratch. All our food is from scratch, um, and we partner with local people. So we've got our bread is from Neshoba Brook Bakery in West Concord, Mass. Our coffee's from Indigo Coffee in Northampton. Essentially, I call her. She roasts it and sends it out to me. That's how fresh that wow. coffee is. It's amazing. It's really good coffee. Um, but you know, we're all about seasonal food, eating what's in season. Um, I believe that eating what's in season is good for you. So that's sort of my mantra. Um, so we'll be changing the menu on a regular basis uh, during the course of the seasons. We're very busy right now talking about spring items. So I'll be launching my spring menu in a couple weeks. But it's been well received. The feedback from the people in the, in the area, the business people in the area, Unum has been a big supporter, the Telegram and Gazette, all of the legal you know, folks downtown have been in, um, the schools. Right. The college, the college students from Mass College of Pharmacy love it. Um, so we're very happy. So far, the response has been great, and it's been busy. Like, Jessica, I sort of had my first taste of crazy busy when uh, Garth Brooks was in town. Wow, yeah. Because we have the unique situation where we are part of the DCU Center, so we're open to the public Monday through Saturday, 10 to 7, but we're also serving the arena when there's arena events. And uh, Garth was the first real Th view. Three shows, Friday, three Saturday, Three shows, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 and a half hours of sales, and we did like triple our usual weekly sales. Yeah. It was insane. That's phenomenal. I don't so, think I've recovered. Well, you know, this is this chicken <laughs> and egg, and just hearing you describe, you know, y your restaurant and you're bringing people out of the buildings. People want to kind of get out uh, during, during a break uh, you know, for lunch, and, but it's having those, and that creates that walkability, that traffic, that... Hopefully someone grabs a sandwich and then goes down by by its shirt or, or yeah. vice versa. Um, yeah. And 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 I guess that's you know a question I have, have for for both of you. Maybe we'll go candy. We'll come back. Um, you know what what kind of prompted you to about be that entrepreneur? Say it's time to open up. I'm I'm going to take that next step. Uh, it's been a long journey. Um, I've always been an entrepreneurial spirit, and before I went into the high-tech industry, I spent 22 years in the high-tech industry, but before that, I had many other businesses, and I was also in the restaurant business. I love restaurants. I love food. I love making people happy through food, and it's always been something I've wanted to get back to. So about five years ago, I decided to drop off the grid, step away from my um, executive life, and uh, go back to school and become a chef. And I knew that I wanted to do something in food. I wasn't quite sure what I mm -hmm. wanted to do. So the journey was different. So I went through culinary school. I actually took over a restaurant on the Cape for a season mm -hmm. to see if that's what I really wanted to do. I had a fantastic mentor, and it was a great experience and made me realize that, yeah, I do want to do this. I do want to cook for people. 
So when we moved to Worcester three years ago, I knew I wanted to work and live in the same community. Mm -hmm. So I started in earnest looking for a location downtown because I heard about all the changes that were happening in downtown Worcester and I was really encouraged and enthusiastic about you know what was going on with downtown Worcester and I knew I wanted to be there. So worked with the Office of Economic Development. Those guys were fantastic. That led me to this opportunity and Sandy Dunn's a pretty good landlord. Sandy Dunn is a pretty good landlord. Oh, well, the city <laughs> yeah. too, yeah. yeah. The city, city owns it, but yes. uh, she's. Uh, and, 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 and how about you, Jessica? You know, what from pins? What prompted you? Okay, I'm going to take it to the next level and start a business. So I always tease that this all happened not by mistake, but this was never the plan. And it's exactly <laughs> where I should be, but it was it was not the plan. It it kind of happened by accident, I you guess. You have a, a STEM background, if I remember correctly, yeah, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I have a degree in biochemistry and I worked in the pharma industry. Um, and I was always doing my photography on the side. And I've always loved artists and working with artists, being creative, working with my hands. Um, and I guess I never realized I wasn't supposed to be in a lab. I was supposed to be working with my hands the whole time. So that's what I'm doing now and it's great. And, and just that partnership with a lot of local artists, you know, so for example, you get, you know, painters who do some great paintings around Worcester. You've got, you know, people who do, you know, all different types of Things you know relating to Worcester scenes or yeah. venues or or, or uh, uh, buildings. I mean, so just how do you incorporate those Worcester uh, fellow artists into into your business model? I knew when I was making my designs, the different Worcester designs, that not everybody's going to like my designs, and that's okay. I I want to be attracting as many different tastes as possible, and to have another artist show their point of view of Worcester. I think that's part of um, what people really like about Worcester wares because it's it's more than one view on Worcester and. There's so many artists and so many talents, and I don't want to go learn how to make jewelry or pottery. I'm going to find someone who does it really, really well and mm -hmm. have them, they're making Worcester-themed items, and I'm happy to sell them in my store. So people can email me or stop in the store and say hello during my hours and bring some items. Uh, it does have to be Worcester-themed, not just made in Worcester. Right. Um, hopefully someday we'll do a made in Worcester uh, right. section. But uh, yeah, people are welcome to email me or come show me their ideas because everybody, no idea is too small. I mean, I was making I Love Worcester pins and now I have a store, That's so right. you got to trust that crazy idea. Well, I mean, I, I think that, you know, that whole uh, artist culture and, and all shapes, um, shape, manner, and forms has really uh, cast a new light in terms of maybe how people see the city, not only people internally, but externally. I mean, whether it be start on the street or just right. so many different arts and cultural events and venues and uh, that level of cre creativity is also integrated with this emerging innovation economy, which is blending of yeah. artistic uh, you know, cre creations with with technology. It's it's Things really you don't amazing. Think of people approach you with an idea, and even though I'm all Worcester items every day, somebody will approach you with something, and you're like, oh my god, I didn't even think of that. It's genius. Yeah. Uh, the other it's thing great. I think is uh, not Worcester, uh, not a Worcester native, and I don't. Nope. Uh, not a, so again, what 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 drew you to Worcester? Uh, sometimes it's circumstances. Uh, um, for me, well, I mean, I, I'm from Framingham, and yeah. we raised our kids in Northboro and Southboro, and when it came time for me to change my life and change my career, we had the big house in Northboro and said, you know what, it's time to downsize. Our kids are gone, they're not in the house anymore, and started looking around for a nice townhouse community, and we found a beautiful place in Worcester, and just fell in love with it, and that's where we landed. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we moved to Worcester, my husband and I, almost nine years ago. And we were both doing the reverse commute from Boston, and it didn't make sense that we were both working out in Central Mass and commuting from Boston. So we were looking on Craigslist, and we found our first apartment um, in the Burncoat section of Worcester. And we not necessarily were thinking we were going to stay here, but it was very soon afterward that we knew we were this was home, and we yeah. were in love. Yeah. Well, well, good stuff. Well, well Jessica Candy, at first, thank you for your creativity. Thanks for your, your entrepreneurial pioneer uh, efforts in the downtown and building that retail. And I just want to give you a present. This oh, is I got some a, good stuff. This good is the stuff. winter BLT with my rosemary chips and a brownie. Oh, wow. I've got some menus in there for you, too. I'm going to have to uh, do a little extra time at the Worcester Fitness. Uh, but oh, thank you. <laughs> so worth it. The pigs yeah. and pigs menu here. <laughs> yeah. So Worcester 20, uh, winter 2016 and spring's coming. Spring's so, uh, coming. Figs and pigs. Right there on Commercial and, and Foster. Corner commercial and Foster Street. Can't and then, miss it. And then just down the street. Yep, people same can wall. buy uh, Worcester Wares, uh, uh, shirts, mugs, everything. bags, everything yep. Worcester themed and related. So yep. good stuff.